सो नाउ वी विल सी टेबल पैडिंग एंड स्पेसिंग इन एच टी एम एल सो गैस एच टी एम एल टेबल्स कैन एडजस्ट द पैडिंग इन साइड दी सेल्स एंड ऑल्सो द स्पेस बिटवीन दी सेल्स सो वी आर गोइंग टू चेक वट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन पैडिंग एंड स्पेसिंग इन एच टी एम एल टेबल्स विद दी हेल्प ऑफ एग्जाम्पल्स एज वेल सो बेसिकली अ सेल पैडिंग इज द स्पेस बिटवीन दी सेल एजेस एंड दी सेल कॉन्टेंट विच मीन्स द डेटा दैट वी हैव डिफाइंड and the border that is present for that particular table cell the space in between these two elements is called cell padding and by default the padding is set to 0 so we can use the padding css property in this case so guys let us move to the vs code over here we already have a table which is being defined in this case which is having three rows over here the first row is having all the headers that is the first name last name and the age of the players that we want to define and then the second row is having the player details in this case so as you can see we have the first name and the last name as cristiano ronaldo and his age as 38 years and the second player that is lionel messi and his age is defined as 36 years so these are the two records that we have displayed in the form of the html table so if i show you this is the table that is being defined over here now guys let us provide certain borders over here in order to understand what is the difference between padding and spacing and how we can apply them in the html table so guys over here what we have to do is inside the style tag we will use the tags that is table and we will also have the header and we will also say table data all these tags must have the border of 1 pixel in this case so we will say border which is having the width as 1 pixel and the border type is solid in this case and we will say the border color is black color in this case so guys this is the shorthand method in order to define the border of the table in html now guys let me just save this file now and try reloading this page on the browser so as you can see a one pixel border is applied to all the elements that is the entire table element over here and then in between you can see that the table header and the td that is the table data which is having the player details are also having the borders over here we can have the border collapse property for the entire table as well so that the border is displayed only once instead of these double lines in this case so guys over here we will have the table tag and this should have the border collapse property in this case and the value should be collapse in this case so guys let me just save this file now and try reloading this page on the browser what is the importance of this border collapse property so guys over here you can see multiple lines in this case that is for each individual cell over here but when we reload this page once again you can see only one single border for all the cells and that is the importance of this border collapse that is being applied to the entire table over here now guys if you notice there is not much space in between the content that is let's say if we consider this ronaldo as the last name over here we cannot see much space in between this particular content and the border that is surrounding this last name over here so what we can do is we can provide the padding property and provide certain space so that it looks good inside the table cell so guys over here where we have applied the border we can simply come over here and provide the padding property and the padding that we want to provide is let's say we want to provide 10 pixels as the padding from all the sides so guys basically you can also define padding at each individual sides that is left top bottom and right but you can also use the padding property in order to apply the same value from all the four sides so guys let me just save this file now and try reloading this page on the browser so as you can see now we have some space in between the content and the borders that is surrounding the content over here so all the cells in this table is having 10 pixels of padding in this case so guys this is the meaning of the padding property over here that we have just seen now guys what is the meaning of cell spacing so basically cell spacing is the space between each cell by default the space is set to 2 pixels use border spacing css property in order to define the cell spacing so guys we have already seen that by default the 2 pixels of spacing is present between all the cells so to understand it more clearly we have to remove the border collapse property from the table so that multiple borders are being displayed once again so i'll just remove these lines of code over here let me just save this file now and try reloading this page 
So as you can see, we have got the multiple borders once again for each and every cell over here. Now guys, you can see that there is certain spacing in between the border that is covering the table data over here. So this space is two pixels by default. So we can increase or decrease it. So we can remove it by using the border collapse property or we can increase it by using the border spacing property. So guys, let us use that as well. So over here, what we have to do is again, we have to come over here and then we will say border spacing in this case and then let's say we want to provide 10 pixels of the border spacing in this case so let me just save this file now and try reloading this page on the browser so as you can see all the cells now are having the 10 pixels of border spacing in between them so guys this is the space in between the borders that is covering the table data content over here inside the html table and that is the meaning of this particular cell spacing over here so guys both these css properties that is padding and spacing are important as far as html tables are concerned so based on your requirements you can design your own tables and whatever padding and spacing is required you can implement them by using these css properties so guys comment in the comment section below whether you have learned something out of this video please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well the next video that we are going to talk about is table call span and row span in html so stay tuned